little angel babies. So um, I was shuffling my cards here and I saw the star card and well first I saw the knight of pentacles card and then I saw the star card. So there is an apology that's starting to <laughs> somebody's waiting on an apology. Okay. And I literally when I first shuffled the deck, I got <laughs> the three of wands popping out. Somebody's waiting for their ships to come in on this damn apology from this person I also got like a little vision of some woman like begging because it was like time for her karma to like really set in and start fucking shit up yes we have the six of pentacles getting ready something's getting ready to get balanced out and somebody's getting some bad karma and they want to come rush in um with an apology all right that's what I'm getting here and I feel like it's a karmic energy all right we have the knight of pentacles in the reverse and we have the five of pentacles in the upright. So somebody's left out in the cold, all right? But the five of swords at the bottom of the deck, okay, is in the reverse. So you see the truth about every fucking thing, okay? Oh, we have the star card coming out again, okay? We have heartbreak, okay? The chariot here, the knight of cups, what? Okay, and we have the ace of cups here, and that was behind the knight of wands. So there... Possibly an Aquarius or a Cancer, but um, there is an Aquarius or a Cancer person, all right, that knows that something is hopeless. They know that they're waiting for something that's never going to come, okay? You're waiting on an apology that's never going to fucking get here, all right? Um, so this is causing a lot of heartbreak because the situation has been balanced out now, all right? Things have, you know, went back to the way that they are supposed to be, the divine order of the way that things are supposed to be. And, you know, you probably have moved on, all right? You felt like the situation was hopeless. It caused you a lot of heartbreak. Sorry, I thought my kids were trying to tell me something. Um, yeah, it caused a lot of heartbreak for you. You felt like it was hopeless and you're just like moving on. Like, I feel like for some of you, you offered yourself an apology for allowing your, for allowing, you know, whoever or the situation or this person to treat you in a certain way. Um, because for some of you, I really do feel like this person tried to gaslight you, okay, and offer you a cup of emotion so that you wouldn't really dig too deep into whatever the situation was here, all right, so that you wouldn't really, like, see things clearly. Um, yeah. I don't know, man. I don't like this, though. Somebody's trying to come in and apologize because they realize they're about to get fucked up. Let's see why they need to apologize. Or why they're trying to apologize. Why are they waiting on an apology? Why are they waiting on you to accept an apology is really what I'm seeing here. Somebody's not able to come to you physically either. Because with the Knight of Pentacles in reverse over the Chariot, somebody wants to be able to come to you physically, but they're feeling left out in the cold. All right? And they want to apologize for something that they've done. And I want to know, what the fuck is it? What is it that they did? Because we had a lot of message cards pop out, so we about to find out. We have phone call. Yeah, like this person has been trying to get into contact with you. I felt that. I felt that. Okay, it says, I'm still living within my shadow, but I don't want to. So somebody feels like this is a situation that they are not willing to fix, but they want to come in and somehow try to apologize for it anyway, even though that there's nothing like really that they're willing to do. We have pants here. Oh, somebody hot in the pants. You are in my full package. I see and understand that now. Oh, it's too late for a fucking apology. It's too late, baby, now it's too late. No, we really didn't try to make it. Literally. Like, this person worked very hard to try and keep... I feel like, Angel Baby, y'all worked very hard to try and keep this relationship going. And you were just like, you know what? I'm going to leave this shit in the dust. <laughs> Another one bites the dust. Like, you're just like, eh, no thanks. Somebody wants to know if you're single so they can move forward with you. What the fuck? Oh, shit. Yeah, we have a witch. But I was sensing that somebody was doing some kind of witchcraft. And now this shit is about to come back on. The... <sighs> Please don't tell me somebody's trying to do witchcraft to get their person back. And that ain't even, even their fucking person. 
They want to know, they did witchcraft, and now they want to know if you or your person is single. Because they can't come to them in the physical. Because you have the reverse Knight of Pentacles, which means that this is a situation that's not even trying to move forward anywhere. So they're, they've resorted to fucking witchcraft to try and get what it is that they want. That's some sick shit. Family! Family. This is involving family. It says the past. So this happened a while ago. Okay, with family. God damn. And we have Saturday, 666, Capricorn, Karma. Didn't I tell you somebody was getting ready to get their fucking karma? And now they want to come back and apologize? Okay, are they waiting on you to come back and apologize? Because I need to sleep. Okay, I'm coming. Um, we also says here, I've been sexually tempted to cheat, but I will remain strong and loyal. I am devoted to you. <sighs> Somebody's getting their fucking karma. It's saying that they didn't cheat, but I feel like the test was if they would get tempted, would they take the fucking bait? You know what I mean? Like, would they take the bait? Let's just keep going. Anger isn't cute on you. Calm the F down and think about things clearly. So I feel like y'all done found out about something. It says, I don't want to settle score, just my freedom. Ooh. Ooh. You are so fucking dramatic. It's funny, but sometimes annoying as hell. So this person... Oh, God. I'm hiding my feelings because I'm scared to get hurt after opening up. I'll come around soon. This person tried to play the fucking field because they felt like you may not be for them. Okay? So they try to check and see, like, you know, is this person single? Can I come in now? Did my witchcraft work? You know, did my witchcraft to break up their family and cause problems? What was the witchcraft that they tried to do? Oh, a little tink tink. Because I'm feeling like that shit ain't work out. Yeah, they wanted <laughs> they wanted y'all to get a divorce. We got the Ace of Rods. <laughs> the eight, I was going to say the Ace of Rods in the reverse. But the Ace of Swords in the reverse. This person probably did work on you and your family and your person hoping that they can come in and cheat. All right, because the Ace of Wands in the reverse. Because I said Rod, like a dick, right? That means that somebody giving their, their penis away to somewhere and, and somewhere that it doesn't belong. We have, yeah, y'all decided to unburden yourselves. Y'all decided to cut this person off or this situation off. This person wanted to win by any means necessary with the Six of Wands here in the reverse and the Page of Wands in the reverse. Oh, they magic ain't working at all. They have that weak shit. That weak shit. Oh, this is somebody within your community, too, because we got the Ace of Pentacles. Or not the Ace of Pentacles, but the um, Three of Pentacles in both decks. So this is somebody within your community, within your circle that's do that did this. Somebody within your circle that did this. They could be a Cancer. They could be an Aquarius. They could be a Capricorn. But somebody did something. To try and keep you. That's why I feel like it's this, it's a karmic energy. This is a message from the goddamn karmic. Oh, now we got anxiety. Yeah, bitch, I bet you the fucking worried. No, you did all of this witchcraft and that shit ain't work. Still ain't picking up your fucking phone calls. You still living within your shadow self. Still can't keep it in your fucking pants. Because you a hoe trying to tell this person, oh, I never cheated. They trying to tell your divine masculine that they ain't never cheated on them. That they were just tempted to cheat. Yeah, fucking right. And the next card after the witchcraft, oh, let me see if this person is single because, you know, I lit these candles. <laughs> I did this. Yeah, we got the Knight of Wands. This person wants to rush in quick because they realized that there was heartbreak here after a situation got balanced out and they was out the fucking picture that your divine masculine chose you and not that. Yes, he moved on. Okay, we have the Six of Swords over the chariot. Okay, this person moved on. This person moved on. We have justice. We have the magician here, too. They manifested their way out this situation. This bitch. <laughs> Judgment. I can't make this shit up. I can't make this shit up. Judge it. <sighs> Literally. This person put witchcraft on you and your person, like your entire family union, to try and break you up so that this person could come in and cheat and steal your person away. And what they found out was... 
okay, they're talking about, I don't want to settle score, just my freedom. This person literally is trying to free themselves from karma, okay? Talking about they don't want to settle score, like, oh, no, I don't want anything bad to happen now. So you may have caught this person, all right, and been ready to fucking fight, Angel Baby, and they're like, oh, I don't want any smoke. Oh, no, I didn't want it to be like that. I just... Oh, it didn't need to be. I just needed, you know, like this person is waiting on you to, you know, come back. Because since they've apologized, they're waiting on you to try and like come back and apologize and like mend some shit. But I feel like they're not coming to you in the physical. They could be sending other people to you. Um, But honestly, I feel like they're so worried about this. <laughs> Angel babies, they're so worried about this. that this person is coming to you in the 5D. Because I told you I had a vision of somebody begging me not to, you know... Literally, this karmic is like, please, please, in my mind's eye, please, 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 please. Nope, you finna get your karma, bitch, because you don't do magic on somebody trying to break somebody's family apart and cause arguments and shit like that, okay? So she, they have justice. You got justice here, angel baby. You have the magician, and you got judgment on your side dealing with this person. This person, like I said, possibly an Aquarius. Okay, a Libra or a Cancer, but I mainly was seeing Aquarius and the Knight of Cups when I first started shuffling the deck. Those are the two cards that came out. So this is definitely an Aquarius karmic. Okay, yep, yeah, somebody's gonna be fucked up. We have the Knight of Wands. Somebody might physically hurt this person. It may not be you, but they gonna go through something and they gonna go through a lot of shit. Everything that they put on you, they're gonna go through. We have the Ten of Pentacles, so while you're stacking money, this person is going to be hurt. They're not going to have two pennies to rub together because it's a reverse Two of Pentacles. They're not going to be able to make a decision about how to spend their money, where to spend it on, because they ain't got none. They ain't got no shmoney. All right? They don't have any shmoney. We have the Reverse King of Wands. Yeah, this person doesn't fucking want you anymore, okay? Their penis has moved on to somewhere else. And the reverse king of wands is like somebody that's very angry. Somebody is mad that somebody won't stay left out in the cold. Okay, they keep trying to come out of the cold, offering up apologies, trying to balance out the situation. And like this, this masculine energy is just like, no, <laughs> like, no, we have, yeah, the six of cups here. Somebody's trying to come back from the past, trying to revive something, offering the ace of cups, trying to manifest something. But, you know, with the five of swords in that pile, being in the reverse, you see straight through the shit. You see straight through this person. I feel like every time this person does something on the 5D in the magical sense, like it comes straight to you and you're just like blocked Okay, like the ancestors are behind you, but I feel like you are powerful enough. That's what this person ain't fucking know, is that you are powerful enough to block this shit. This could have been like prayers, like if this person was super religious, all right? Or it could have been witchcraft. They could have literally paid somebody to try and break y'all up, and that shit ain't fucking work, all right? And we have the six of swords, so you eventually ended up moving away from this person any fucking way. Oh, I can't stand people like that. Like, really? Like, you go into those extremes? When this person don't even fucking want you, you sit and you study making this person fucking angry. Okay, because you keep trying to throw yourself on. This karma keeps trying to throw themselves at your divine masculine in any way, shape, or form. That they're not even realizing that they're making the very person that they're doing all this work for and on angry as fuck. Not wanting to be around them. They making them mad as fuck. Oh, God. Yeah, we have a mooch. Somebody just wants to mooch off of your energy. I'm telling you, we have oral. So this person may have tried to offer your divine masculine like oral sex just to mooch off of them because of the ten of pentacles here. Trying to get some of that shmoney. And they were like, no, it says I have commitment issues. I can't keep it in my pants. I use sex flirting to distance myself. Literally, pants. This karmic fucked up because they realized they couldn't keep it in their pants. Okay. And they're saying, oh, now I see that you're my full package. Now I see that you're everybody. Now I see, you know, sorry about that. Now I see that you're this, this, that, and the other. No. And it says sensation, like blindfold me, BDSM, like, oh. Absolutely not. This person's living their fucking life. 
okay? While you're over here putting witchcraft on this person, trying to make sure that they don't get together, trying, you know, mooch off of them, like, oh, I'm gonna give you head, blah, 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 blah. This person is over here living their fucking life, okay? You're over here like, you can tie me up, you could do this, you could do that. No, bitch. No. Okay, it says, I find peace when you aren't here. Literally, I told you the divine masculine doesn't want to be fucking bothered with this bitch. At all. Like, I feel like this is the type of person that they'll duck it. We got the king of swords. He really don't want to fucking be bothered. He don't want to even come out in this reading and say anything. Other than the fact of, like, I'm angry, king of wands, reverse. King of swords in the upright, bitch. Bye-bye. Okay, goodbye. And we have the death here. And we have Page of Cups. Oh, it's the end of this situation. And this karma just does not get the point. I don't really feel like she gets the point at all. That the situation is dead. Yeah. We have the Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. Okay. And we have the Magician here. So that's a Virgo energy. That's somebody that's very like steady, calm, very grounded. So it's not that your Divine Masculine is in a bad headspace or he's just like extremely angry. No, he's very level-headed and he's constantly like pushing this person away because they're a liar. They're deceptive. We have the Emperor here. Like I said, okay, somebody was after your Divine Masculine and pissing him the fuck off. Trying to get at him constantly, doing a bunch of work on him all the fucking time. And then in hindsight, what this karmic isn't seeing is they don't fucking want. Yes, the reverse. <laughs> Five of cups. Shit. Ain't no apologies that you're going to be able to say, all right, that's going to stop this karma from coming in the way that it's going to come in, okay? Um... For some of y'all, this person was putting, like, death spells on you, like, hoping that you die, hoping that your children die, hoping that your man leaves you, like, your divine masculine leaves you. But yes, with the ten of cups here in the reverse, hoping that you'll just be so unhappy and unsatisfied. Tower card, oh, shit. Yes, with the two of cups in the reverse, this person is really just doing a death spell over your whole family, not wanting you to have a new beginning with a full card in the reverse. This card makes it fucking disgusting for this shit. Queen of Wands in the in the upright. I can't make this shit up. Look at that. Queen of Wands. She was trying to manifest all this shit. Trying to manifest all that shit. Like, who the fuck does that? I can't have what I want from a pet witchcraft on you and your entire family. And I'm going to hope that it tears apart everything. And, you know, so I can sleep with your person and get their money. The f bitch, the fuck? Which is it? Where do you live at? What rock do you live under? Are you not aware that people can be higher ranking than you in the spiritual? Because that's what happened, Angel Baby. They found out that your ancestors was coming out here, like, strong. That they was out here mobbing in the spiritual streets, okay? In the 5D. That you weren't to be fucked with in the 5D. Oh, somebody's pregnant. Oh, somebody's pregnant or somebody knows that you're pregnant. Okay, angel baby? Because I really don't feel like it's this person. I feel like you're pregnant and they want, like, death on your child. Like, that's how much they're trying to get this person back. They don't want you to have any attachments <laughs> to who they feel like is theirs. Okay? But this is your divine masculine, angel baby. This is your divine masculine. And your divine masculine has shown himself in this reading twice in negative ways saying that they do not fuck with this person, okay? It says that I know that I am the problem. I behave badly and cause you to react out of trauma. Trauma bonding. Yeah, that's all this relationship was, was a fucking trauma bond. Okay, it says hollow, there's nothing there. No, if this person just wants to come in and give you some heads to get some money from you, there's not really anything there. All right, it says, I fucking hate you. You make my soul itch, and I don't even know why I roll side eye. Oops, I'm a narcissist, literally. Okay, head, like, that's all this person can fucking think about is giving some head. You wouldn't be, a, you wouldn't believe all the things my ex put me through. Sorry if I act distant. I feel like that's a message to you from your divine masculine that, like, I'm sorry you have to deal with this, this hating ass bitch. I'm really sorry that, you know, that this is what it's come to. This person doing this desperate ass shit, like witchcraft, trying to get me back. Okay, it says watching you cry and tear up when you choke on me, like, literally, like. For some of y'all, Angel Baby, like, this sexual energy is you and your divine masculine, like, but didn't I tell y'all y'all was living y'all life with the BDSM card? Y'all living y'all life, and this person is sitting here throwing magic at you. I'm on my own, bye. Okay. 
Yeah, it says Gemini woman. This could be a Gemini woman, okay, throwing this shit at you. Okay, it says trash trucks have less garbage to deal with. Messy person, what the fuck? <laughs> trash trucks have less garbage to deal with. This is a messy person. I cannot. And the funny thing about it is I wrote these cards, but sometimes you forget about it when you have so many that when they pop out in a reading and you haven't seen it for a while, like that should be surprising you too. That's why I said some of these readings, like I be pulling my own spread sometimes and then other times I just be just as surprised as y'all are, you know, baby? Um... It also says, laugh in the face of your pain. So this bitch did not give a fuck. They are a narcissist. They didn't give a fuck if they hurt you, hurt your kids, tore everything away from you. As long as they get to keep this person that don't even fucking want them. Let me keep reminding you of that. Okay, that your divine masculine says, I fucking hate you. Okay, to the karmic, I fucking hate you. You make my soul itch and I don't even know why. Okay, at this point, like we're not even together, but just like the mention of your name or the mention of something that reminds me of you just makes me want to gag makes me want to throw up <laughs> makes me want to run for the hills makes me want to cut my eyes out and run off a fucking cliff okay like literally ain't nothing here but a fucking trauma bond because this person is emotionally unavailable this karmic is emotionally unavailable ace of pentacles we have the deception seven of swords the wheel of fortune in the reverse queen of swords in the reverse and the page of swords in the reverse Okay, this person has been blocked. Okay, so you may have blocked this person. This karmic energy, like maybe they can't contact you anymore, but they damn sure can't come to you in the physical. So they can beg all the fuck they want in the 5D, but that judgment is still coming. Yeah, hanged man. I bet you do have a new perspective now, you fucking karmic. But anyway, that's all I have that's about as deep into it as I'm going to get with this spread because we don't give a fuck what this bitch has to say, really. All right. You are going to go on to your happiness. OK, and this person is going to be struggling and not able to have, you know, a leg to stand on, not be able to have a kickstand for their house to be propped up on. Absolutely nothing. I don't know what your ancestors finna do, but they finna fuck shit up. OK, I just pulled the lover's card. So this definitely could be a Gemini and you and your divine masculine. OK. This could stand for your divine masculine being, you know, having a good relationship, divinely orchestrated, having everything that you need while this energy is just sitting here watching, okay? Unable to come forward in the physical, come forward in the spirit. <laughs> they about to be able to stop coming forward in the spiritual if they already haven't been stopped by your ancestors, okay? Because they ain't fucking... When I tell you that this bitch was begging, like... Literally, just please, 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 though. I'm so sorry. Please, please, please. No, nope. I'm sorry. But, like, you know, you was a Billy badass when you was out here lighting candles, feeling like you knew what the fuck you were doing. So don't come crying to me now. All right? Don't come crying to me now when you figured out that that magic ain't what the fuck you wanted because you thought you was going to get a... This karma thought that they were going to get a physical fight with you. They thought that they were going to be able to, like, literally take it to the streets. Like, oh, I could whip this bitch's ass if I do X, Y, and Z. I can manifest her into my experience to, you know, fuck, fuck her up a little bit. And your ancestors were like, oh, is that what you thought? Is that what you thought? absolutely not you're not even going to be able to get near them and we're still going to fuck you up so this person may be having like nightmares and shit this person may be um this person may be having nightmares and they're coming out to you in their dreams trying to like you know fuck with you and you're able to see them clearly and that fucked them up because not able not only were you able to see them clearly your ancestors were able to see them clearly so they were like oh this is what you're planning on doing okay we finna fuck you up. We finna take everything that you thought you fucking cared about away from you. And we're gonna sit and make you watch it. We're, we're gonna sit here. And we're gonna sit your ass down and make you watch everything that's happening around you. Okay? So you can experience the same heartbreak that you tried to put our angel baby through. That's what I'm seeing. Okay? Because it says, literally, you find peace when this person isn't around. Okay? Your divine masculine finds peace when this person is not around, when this person isn't being mentioned. All right? They know that. This karmic energy knows that. They know they're fucking problematic. They told you in one of the cards that they were fucking problematic. Okay? That came out in another reading, too. So don't let this person fool you into thinking that somehow, you know, you're messing things up or you're doing something wrong. Because you're not. You're absolutely not. Okay, 
it is this person and they know who the fuck they are okay they told you that you know i'm trying to trauma bond you i'm trying to trauma bond you it says literally i know i am the problem i behave badly and cause you to react out of trauma this person knows exactly what the fuck they're doing so don't get it fucking twisted they finna reap their karma and there's nothing that they can fucking do about it so if you need me for a personal reading you already know so go ahead and look in the description box and as usual i will see you next time